Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to deploy AppSheet app. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And if you want to create an account on AppSheet, you can use the link in the description down below and you may get discounts or rewards upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, AppSheet is a Google application. So if you want to go to uh, AppSheet, just go to AppSheet.com or go to your Google account manage your application and right there app sheet will be listed right there among uh, al along with uh, other apps like google task uh, google uh, sheets whatever like that so yeah after you go after you go to this uh website to this application just log in your google account and you're ready to go and right here on the dashboard you will see all of the application that you have made in the uh, previous or if you created some uh, application in the past they're, they will be listed right here and you will see their status if they are already uh, they are uh, already deployed or is just it's still just a prototype and you can see the uh, the time or the date when and when it is last modified so yeah that's it so now I'm going to show you how to deploy an application so it's pretty much easy first you need to create your application of course just click this uh, button right here Go to application and choose uh, whatever options you want. So I'm just going to uh, create an application using template. So right here, I'm going to choose uh, uh, an, uh, an application template. So let's just choose the basic one. So let's choose simple uh, inventory. So if you want to add, if you want to choose this template, just click copy in order to copy this application to your app sheet. And after you copy it, you will be redirected to this page and it will start syncing in your uh, uh, AppSheet account. And right here on the right side, you will see its preview. So this is how the, uh, the application would look like. And as you can see right here, you can edit each section. You can edit the, uh, the item page, inventory log page. You can edit this, the level page, and it's up to you if you want to edit. And also you can see there... Uh, uh, how do you call this? Their view per uh, platform. So this is how you can view it on mobile. This is how you can view it on tablet. And for desktops, this is how you will view it. Right here, as you can see. So this is how the application would look like. So yeah, as you can see, it's already uh, syncing in my uh, app sheet. So it's already synced with my uh, uh, app sheet account. So now... You can, you can, if you want, I can just, uh, you know, customize this if I want. Customize its sections right here. Just click edit, this edit button, and I will have uh, this for option. I can edit the uh, data. I can edit the view itself and edit settings. I can open this. So I will be, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, settings will appear, and I can edit this settings if I want. So, let, for example, the information, I can, you know, uh, you know, change the short the name the name for my application, the version itself, the short description for my application, category. So what types of application? It is a for business solution, how to application, system application, custom application. It's up to me. You can choose whatever you want. For the function, how uh yeah, how it functions. So for example, this app is for marketing, uh human resources, education, training. Uh, etc etc yeah it's up to you and for the industry you can choose it yourself description blah 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 yeah you can also uh you know modify it so yeah just you know you can just explore this and customize it if you want yeah same thing with team and brand the data itself relationship legacy views general settings starting view so if you want this is the the starting view is just like a home page so so if they open the apps this uh you know page uh you can choose the page that they will they will definitely see when they open the application so it's like a home page so yeah that's it so now after you're done like uh modifying your application how to deploy so after you're you're done with your edits right you're after done editing with the uh, web your application just click save in order to save your changes and after that, just go right here. As you can see, uh, this button says not deployed. So if you click on it, you can see this uh, uh, this settings or this window will appear. So it shows the deployment check. It shows uh, whether your uh, application is good for uh, deployment or not. So as you can see, 
there will be some warnings that you need to solve first in order to or if you want your app to be executed properly so as you can see the account st status it's error so i need to have a subscription plan to you know have an account status so most probably yeah as you can see there's more there's more pass uh, than warnings so yeah this uh, application might be good to deploy since most of the features pass the deployment check so yeah if you want to deploy it uh, you can just move app to deployed state despite the errors so it's up to you or you can continue editing to remove this error so after you're done with this so after after you're done editing your application just click move app to deployed state despite errors and right here as you can see this application is already deployed and they can use it or now you can share it with your you can share it with your uh you know people or friends or for your workers for example your employers or employees you can send it using a link and you can do so by clicking this one share and as you can see you can add some accounts that you want to share this application with or you can share the links itself so as you can see if you if they want to install this application on mobile this would be the link to you know open if they want to open it in browser only they if they want to uh use it on browser this is the link and if they want to edit the application itself this is the link so yeah that's it so as you can see if i go back and refresh my dashboard as you can see my created application is already now deployed and yeah that's it that's how you can deploy applications on AppSheet and also that's it for today's video. If you want more, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one.